Lucas Media. So Angel Reese did a press conference last night. And, you know, she's been out for last over a week. She's been suspended. And she just talked a little bit about it. I'm going to play this clip for y'all. And then I'm going to give my thoughts on it. I mean, it was a long two weeks. Well, a week and a half, two weeks to be away from the team. Um, taking time to yourself is uh, really important. I feel like that's just something that was important and resetting and refocusing within the team. I'm just happy to be back. And th this place was amazing tonight and I'm just happy to be here with them. One more. Um, we said, you know, you've had a lot of time to yourself. Um, but what have you learned about yourself in the time you were away? Not what I learned about myself. I want people to realize that I'm not just an athlete. I'm a human. <laughs> I go through things. We all go through. Excuse y'all. Kim Moki, she been coughing a lot lately. My bad, y'all. Things and just being able to have so many people that were super supportive to me in this past week and a half really showed me a lot and who really cares for me. And when you up, everybody love you. When you down, you see who really love you. So just being able to have such supportive people that were here for me and through a tough time for me was, was really important. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. She also goes on to say she's human, and she talked about, like, mental uh, mental health and everything. And she said that she needs Kim Mulkey in her life. People speculated they might not got along. And there was rumors about Flage and their moms was going back and forth online. It was also rumors that she was suspended because of her GPA, even though, well, that didn't make any sense to me. So, I mean, listen, Angel Reese... Number one, I believe Shaq's been in touch with her since she's been suspended. You know, Shaq's former LSU alum. You know, she's human. It's hard. Uh, Angel got to be, what, 20, maybe 21. And I know a lot of people give her flack. And yeah, some of us deserve at times. But she's 21 years old. Imagine you transferring to school and then within... Eight, nine months, you're the face of basketball. Women's college basketball. You can't go down the street without people recognizing you. And a lot of times, you know, that can cloud or have a type, some type of judgment on you. And that happens to a lot of players, right? However, if you focus on the main thing, right, all the, everything else will work itself out. And she is right. When they love you, when you up, you up. And when you down... Everybody hate on you. And I know I keep bringing this up, but look at Coach Prime. You know, everybody loved Coach Prime, but then they turned on him. Then they loved him again, and now they turning on him again. You know, same thing with her. Everybody loved her, but then they like, oh, she ain't focused on grades. And, excuse me, a lot of people think that she's a bad teammate or, you know, we never really know. But it's hard to handle that type of pressure. I know for a fact I wouldn't be able to handle that at 21. With all, all of that. You know, and you not get a little rattled. So hopefully she was able to re do a little reset while she was out. She's able to come back and, you know, finish the street season strong. And hopefully they're able to win another national title. And I think she can come back one more year, either that or, you know, you go to the pros. But, you know, she's human, man, just like all of us. We're going to have ups and downs. It's just hers is on camera. But shout out to her. It's good to see her back on the court. Y'all tell me what y'all think about all of this.